It was the hardest ticket to get in these parts in ages, and the folks that are packed into this place are making an impact already. It's Game 3 of the World Series between the Cincinnati Reds and the Kansas City Royals. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian. Welcome to the World Series here on the show. With me are Eric Karros and Steve Lyons. And Steve, lots to talk about here as we get ready for Game 3. And guys, you know I don't like the phrase must win if it's not a must win situation. It's so overused. But even though this isn't technically a must win game, boy, you go down 3-0 to this bunch, well, you're going to be in a whole lot of trouble. So they need to come up with a huge effort here. The build up to this one is just about over. It's time for all the drama of World Series baseball on the show. And we'll have it for you next. Back now as we draw ever closer to first pitch. Let's listen in to public address announcer Mike Carlucci. And now, your Kansas City Royals. the most quickly now we'll look at the two guys who'll get the ball here in game three right a moment here to right. take a look at the it's Cincinnati Reds the morning, starting dude. lineup in this one anybody catch your eye Eric well you better look out for the Norris Soros Rex <laughs> Derek Norris he always seems to come through in the clutch doesn't let the pressure of a big situation get to him. Only ten Whether in the it's morning, the first dude. inning with nobody out or the ninth inning with two outs, his approach doesn't change, and that's a big reason why he delivers so often. Taken for ball one as we get underway here at 706. Yeah, yeah. First pitch. Not when the weather's this nice. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Not a bad night to bring the parka along. 54 degrees. Yeah, usually it's time. recovery day. It's my fucking day to go do something. Really One yeah, and that's two what now I'm going to do, man. Off. In a little while, I'm going to sit in the yard in the sun, have some beers. My buddy's having a party. Let the kids run around. Line toward right center. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. No, oh, it's not. Have you been out there? This is what you want when you're facing a young starter. Oh. Get him in the stretch right away. Make him uncomfortable out there. He's in trouble already after a leadoff single. Mookie Betts will stand in now for the first time coming off, well, nothing short of a dynamic performance last time out. Well, it makes you wonder how they're going to attack him here in this game. I would bet that they're a lot more cautious with him. It's fucking, it's fucking hot where I am, man. <laughs> What's the high going to be today? Do you even know? It's the bottom of the strike zone here with the sinker. Strike one. Now, people describe this guy as throwing a heavy sinker. Would you guys agree with that assessment? Yeah, I think so. I mean, it's hard to explain why that's that the case, but it's true. When you run into a guy with a good sinker and lots of movement on it, it just feels like you're hitting a bowling ball. Ball just doesn't go anywhere. Vaccaro has to retreat a bit, but he gets there for out number one. Batting third, first baseman, Edwin Encarnacion. Edwin Encarnacion is in to take his first swings here with the runner still at first and one away. Well, too bad that last guy couldn't advance the man into scoring position, so now it's probably going to take a gaffer to get him home. Pitches a cold strike. The throw. He skips in and he's safe. Close play, but he's in there. We've seen him use his speed more than once here this postseason, and he's on the run again here as he gets into second with the stolen base.
0-1. Here's the pitch. And a sinker dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. Now, is this one of those situations where you'd maybe think about taking third here as well? Well, you probably don't do it with nobody out. And you definitely don't do it with two out. So if there was a time to go, this is probably it. Here's the 1-1. One hit the other way out toward right field. Brown is back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. And he's up to third safely now with two gone in the inning. Yeah, this ball's hit high enough that you can go back and tag at second base. So that's a good job of moving up the extra 90 feet now with two outs. Coming to the plate now, Corey Dickerson. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. Oh, and it's so important to take advantage of these kind of opportunities early in a ball game. It can change the entire complexion of the game if you can put the other guys <laughs> on their heels right away. And he'll take strike one on the fastball, registering at 93 that time. And that's about where he'll sit with that fastball, 93, 94. And that's plenty hard enough to blow by guys when you need to. Chop foul right at home plate. And here's a pitch inside, and that got him. And you know the problem with this slider, and it almost sounds stupid to say it, but sometimes it can literally move too much. I mean, it's a great pitch, don't get me wrong. But here, look at how far this thing runs in. That's a pitch that can be hard to control at times, and here it winds up costing. <laughs> Derek Norris steps up to the plate with a great chance to drive in a run here in the early going. And you know, you hear it all the time, but scoring first really is a big deal in this game. Statistically, your chance of winning the game goes up quite a bit when you score first. So this is a big opportunity right now. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. And that's the pitch he needs to get working here in this first inning. You can solve a few problems here if that pitch comes around. to escape unscathed here in the first. Swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. Runners at the corners, two men out. On the ground to third. <laughs> and the two out threat <laughs> will not come to pass as the inning is over. Red strand a couple and now the Royals get their first shot in a not scoreless the, ball game. <laughs> not that much of an alcoholic. Well, a chance now from the K I to have a look at the starting this, this nine for these too, Royals. Man. What's the key to sending Special fans occasions, home smiling man. tonight, Steve? Well, I'll tell you what. This team has their ace on the mound, so it's probably not going to take a whole oh, lot of offense to July. get a win for them. Jose Quintana will do the pitching in game three of the series. Yeah, what do you going have to the Pats game, or like a one o'clock well, Pats game. He was not drinking really around. Really effective in his Sorry. last start. He gave up nine hits. Gonna have to limit that here. Well, you gotta be tuned. You gotta be. You gotta be lubed up when you go in. You know. <clears throat> now that we have a chance, we'll give you a look at how the Reds align oh, oh, the July parade. It's brought to us by Majestic. Anymore. Eric. Well, guys, we get to watch Derek Norris behind the plate. Very athletic, versatile. Doesn't let anything get by him. And also, pretty darn good offensively. Any team would love to have him. Ian Desmond. You get his first opportunity here, and if you go by the numbers, it's been a disappointing start to this World Series for him so far. Yeah, he really hasn't gotten on track, and I think you have yeah, to give some of that like credit to good pitching. But he's really been a bit of a non-factor so far. Still time for him to turn it around, though. That's just because of waking up for work, you know? It's just, like, programmed into you. And a breaking ball falls in there for a strike. It's one and one. Well, you figure that curveball is going to be an important pitch for him going forward. Yeah, I think it might even tell the story of how well he fares here tonight because he's going to need to mix his speed against the lineup like this. And once they start sitting on pitches, weird, weird dreams, yeah. Quintana into the windup. One, two on its way. It's like bizarre. Nothing bad. To two balls and two strikes now. And I think you have to ask yeah. yourself, was he trying to throw a fastball for a strike right there? Or was he just trying to set me up for that change up away? I 
And he's getting his money's worth up there now. It's full three and two. It looked like he tried to elevate the fastball in that 2-2 two -two pitch there, but kind of overdid it. With a pitch that high, it's pretty easy to lay off if you're the hitter. Hit to short. Throw on to first, and one shortstop grounds out to the other, one away. And that's what the two-seam fastball will do for you. Running away, not just for strikeouts. Here he gets him to hit it on the ground for an easy out. Todd Frazier will get a shot here, and he's looking to get off the schneid. Hitless in the series so far. And he's an important guy to get going. If they're going to have any chance in this series, he really needs to start getting a little more involved. And there are the umpires assigned to this one. Calling balls and strikes is Mr. Mike Fillmore. And Fillmore usually gets high praise from most people for his command of the zone. He will occasionally give the pitcher just a little extra off the plate if he spots it well. Chop foul over towards the coaching box. Protecting on 0 2, so we'll do it again. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Pretty well struck, high and deep to left field. Blackman looking up, and it's gone. It's a solo home run for Todd Frazier. His first homer here in the series, and the Royals are on the board first. It's one to nothing. Oh, and that's a little vindication here against his former team. You know, I don't think he was looking at this game like it was any other game. He wanted to come in here, make a statement, and that's a pretty good one right there. Into the box now, Michael Franco. As he will take strike one on the fastball here, no balls and a strike. Well, now there's a location you want right there. If that ball gets hit, you're just going to bang it into the ground all night long. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0 and 2. And on 0 and 2, I'd be shocked to see another fastball in the strike zone. Skied into straightaway right. After it is Dickerson. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Well, you can definitely feel and tell that it's October out there. There's a little bit of moisture in the air. Here, this ball sounded pretty good off the bat, and you wonder if it would have been a different story if it was mid-July out there. Sammy Vaccaro gets his first opportunity now, trying to get on base and keep this first inning alive. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. In there, no balls and a strike. And you know, I think it's going to be important that when guys get their pitches, they take advantage. There it looked like he was taken all the way, and he may not get another pitch that catches that much of the plate. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline, but this will get foul for strike two. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Chop foul at the plate, and he stays alive, still 0 and 2. Another one sent foul. Another foul ball, and this battle will continue. The next 0 2 misses, and that'll move it to 1 and 2 now. Well, he might have just said, Look, you're going to have to take this one because you ain't fouling that one off. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going.
Locked in a good battle. Here comes another one. Hit down the line. And that is off the first base bag. And they won't get an out from this as he's able to reach on a play that you just don't see very often. Oh, that's just a bad good. break right there. He made a good pitch. He probably should be out of this inning, but it winds up being an infield single. So it's a runner at first with two gone and set to stand in the fine second baseman, Robinson Cano. First offering on its way. Below the knees, one ball, no strikes. Bounce towards the second baseman. Reined in. On to Encarnacion at first, and that ends the inning. But the Royals are on the board first thanks to this solo home run. Second inning coming up. It's now 1-0 Royals. <laughs> Leading off the inning, Albert Pujols, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. And this is a guy that can make a big change in this game with one swing of the bat Look. because you know he has big time power. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. On oh, a less than Ooh. impressive swing there to start the at bat, it's 0 1. Yeah, he really pulled off of that one, and that's not the kind of swing we're accustomed to seeing from a guy like him. Right, especially starting off an at-bat. Tap foul at home plate. <laughs> oh, and they really oh. bunch him up on that Come one. On. He swings and misses for the first out. Yeah, not a real good job of pitch recognition there. I mean, this ball was going to be in on his hands to begin with. I don't know quite what he saw that made him want to swing at that thing, but it just completely locked him up there. Charlie Blackman is at the plate now as he looks at strike one. And, you know, this is a guy that loves the ball down and in. It's one of the locations he really covers well, so they're going to want to mix their spots here. Drilled right back up the middle. A dive, but he can't get it. It's through into the outfield. That's what you do against a sinker ball. If that ball's fading away, go right back up the middle with it. He just bounces this one right into center field. Nick Castellanos takes his first shot here with the runner at first now and one away. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. Yeah. And he watches one split the middle here, one and one. Seemed to quicken his delivery to the plate on that last pitch. Well, you got to remember, the slide step does two things for you. It gets the catcher the ball quicker so he can throw a guy out, or it will hold the runner on first so he doesn't steal at all. Now a throw over. Oh, a safe. dive, but he's back. Simple throw over there. One and two as he chases the slider. Looks like he employed the slide step on that last pitch. Well, Matt, the pitcher may have thought the runner might be on the move right there, so he slide steps to hang on to him. A ball and two strikes. Here it is. This is in the air to left. Vaccaro on the move. And that's the second out of the inning. And with two away, let's give you one more look at the pads these two teams took to get to this Game 3 of the World Series. Gene Segura set to take his first cuts with a man at first and two away. Yeah, and he's going to have to find a gap to give that man on first a chance to score. Now a move over to first and the runner back.
first pitch on its way. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw way late, and he's in there easily at second. And that may have been an out-and-out -out guess right there. He had to figure they weren't going to throw over twice in a row, so he's running on first movement, and he makes it to second base safely. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. And this one gets away. The throw will go to third. And he's going to make it up to third here as he advances on the wild pitch. With two outs already, this isn't the end of the world from a defensive perspective. But now at least you bring in the possibility of an infield single, or a booted grounder, or even another wild pitch bringing that run home. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One -one. Left side. Oh. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Reds leave one. They trail this one, one to nothing. Tom Noonan strides into the box now to lead off the home half of the second inning. Tom Noonan. Quintana's got his target. First pitch on its way. And, oh, look inside, but that's ruled a strike. Nothing in one. Whether you like it or not, now that you've seen what the strike zone's going to be like, you're going to have to make an adjustment. On its way, the 0-1 pitch. Good change up there as he takes command 0-2. Yeah, he has been patient up there, but now he's backed himself into a corner. Can't get him to chase. It's one and two. Could be that that high fastball there was just a setup pitch. Now you've kind of established that high sight level. Could be a good time to break off a nasty curveball. Tough fastball that time, but he hangs with it to stay alive. Chop foul at the plate. It'll remain one and two. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. And taken in out there for the first out. Seven. You see here on show track, that pitch up and in just ties him in knots. If you leave that out over the plate, you'll be in trouble, but if you can locate there, things will be just fine. At the plate is Andre Ethier. Now he lifts a high pop-up. Drifting into foul territory on the right side. And there's out number two. Whatever he's doing out there, it's working out for him. That's back-to-back pop-ups here to start the inning, and he's just making it look easy. 
Robinson Chirinos gets his first chance here looking to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. And he starts the number eight hitter with a strike nothing in one. And if you're not careful this is the kind of guy that can run off six scoreless innings against you from here out. So that first inning run isn't something you can bank on holding up. Swing and a little tapper that winds up foul. to center field and Mookie will make the play and that retires the side some of our nation's young minds and future leaders here in attendance yikes we'll have more of game three after this message Leading off the inning, Everett Cabrera. And they'll need him to get something going here. And guys, this is the guy you want leading off this inning. He's your leadoff man, so maybe he can get things started. Set the table for a little bit of a rally. And the first pitch of the inning here misses down and in for a ball. It's 1-0. And he looks at a slider in there, one and one. Boy, that got a lot of the plate cutting right across the zone. I think if he had that pitch to do over, he would have taken a rip at that one. Ready to deal. Here's the one one. And he'll fall behind now to one and two. Late making contact on that swing and we'll do it again on one and two. The one and two pitch. Lifted the other way to left center. Vaccaro moves over and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Now batting the center fielder Mookie Betts. Mookie Betts is at the plate now. Flied out in his first at bat. And that's just not really his game. Anytime he keeps it on the ground, he's got a pretty good chance of beating out a hit. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Bases are empty, one man out. That'll be a souvenir, and the count will move to one and one. From the windup, the one one pitch. Now a swing and a fly ball. And this had home run distance, but it just does hook foul. And a swing and a miss as they caught him reaching that time, and there are two away. Well, this is a fastball away right here, and you're going to see him get just a little bit too pull happy trying to tie this thing up, and it's not going to work. Edwin Encarnacion now. He'll pick on the first pitch and hit a ground ball towards second. And that's through for a base hit. Make him one for two in this one. Yeah, that's a two-out hit here in the third inning. Maybe just a little something to get this guy out of his early comfort zone and put him into the stretch. At the plate, Corey Dickerson. He was drilled by a pitch his last time up. Yeah, I wonder if he rubbed it. Smoked on the ground up the middle. And that's through for a hit. Oh, and the throw's wide as it gets by him at second. 
And how about the recovery here as they get him at second base, so forget about the miscue there as the inning is over. Stupid mistakes. Dominic Brown takes into the box in the Leading bottom of the inning Royals. number three. Right fielder, yep. Dominic Brown. Sure in there at the knees as he authors a strike to the leadoff man nothing in one yeah the best way to neutralize this guy's power just keep putting pitches right there and a good idea to hold off on that swing it's ball one and you know sometimes when you're thinking fastball you try to get moving just a little bit early and that's a good job of recognizing off speed and then holding back on the swing. Nope, and this one's up around the eyes, two, two and one. one. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Four pitches. Fast, slow, fast, slow. EK, you thinking fastball here? It seems to fit the pattern, but you better not get too predictable out there. Guys will catch on quick. Tried to crush that ball, and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. Quintana gets the sign on his way with the three and two to short. Segura has it, and he's set down one away. Now batting, shortstop, Ian Desmond. Ian Desmond will dig in again. He grounded out to start the home first. Yeah, but it's still a pretty good lead off at bat because he made him throw a lot of pitches. Rip down the first base line. And Carnacion takes this over himself to record the put out. The now, these infielders have been busy early on, and that's another ground ball out for them. Probably not going to be the last one we see either. Digging in, Todd Frazier. He went deep in his first at bat, and we'll see what he's got in store for us here. Well, he hit a two strike changeup, so let's see if they attack him a little bit differently if they get him to two strikes again. Now, a fastball a bit too low here. It's ball one. And this one's over for a high strike, one and one. Yeah. Bases are empty here with two men out. Yeah. This now is hit to second. Does he have another yeah. one, two, three inning? He does. Seven in a row he's set down no. now as the side is retired. KC down in order, but they lead it one to nothing. Yeah, but it's the way it is. You can only get one of them. Derek Norris is ready here as we begin the top of the fourth. Well, they still aren't even on the board yet, so this leadoff guy needs to get on so they can manufacture a run. First pitch of the inning is taken low and away for a ball. It's 1-0. And he takes a cold strike one. And a check swing here as he couldn't help himself, and it's ruled strike two. Saws him off here as this ball's popped into the air. That ball was so deep in his kitchen, that was the only thing he could do was foul it off, break his bat, and hope to get a better pitch on the next one. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. And he reaches for one ah. out of the zone and misses rather badly for the first out. 
So with that, let's call on the guys in the graphics department to put up the pitch speed comparison for the two starters. And both of these guys working in pretty much the same realm, just a one mile an hour differential from 94 down to 93 as the top speeds. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And standing in, trouble now in the person of Albert Pujols. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Vaccaro moving to his left. Two down. Now batting. Left fielder. Charlie. And boy, Blackman. you talk about guys being over anxious at the plate. You know, of all the pitches he's thrown so far, guys have only taken eight of them. If I was on the mound, I'd keep throwing pitches two feet out of the zone until they prove they can lay off. Coming to the plate now, Charlie Blackman. He singled his last time up. Into the windup and the pitch. And a high strike to begin the at-bat. It's 0-1. Anytime you can throw a first pitch strike to about 60% of the batters you've faced or better than that, then you should get pretty good results. And we're in the middle innings in this game, so that's pretty good. Hard hit at third. There is Franco. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Reds. They still trail one nothing. Michael Franco is set to lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. Third baseman, number seven. Quintana's ready. Here comes the first pitch in tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1 and 0. Squared that one up just a little late. Ready with the 1-1 pitch. Yeah. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Jeez, man. And here's a ball hit in the air. Blackman <laughs> on the move. And they can't run it down. <laughs> very weakly on the ground. That's a foul ball. A two and two count. Here's the pitch. A little late with the swing, but he stays alive. Still two and two. Full count now. Three and two. Wow, what an at-bat he's having right now. He's fought off some tough pitches. He's laid off a few pitches like that one. And now he's worked his way back to a three and two count. Hit hard down the right field line. But a foul ball. Good battle continues as this ball's chopped foul at the plate, and the count remains three and two. And that misses for ball four. It's a leadoff walk that starts the bottom of the fourth. Boy, I'm going to tell you something, guys. That is a great at-bat to start off an inning. you got a guy out there on the mound burning through pitch after pitch, just trying to finish this guy off, and he never could do it. Sammy Vaccaro steps into the box.
He set and the pitch. Hit hard to short. Segura fields it cleanly. On to Encarnacion, and they get them both a double play. And this just undoes a lot of the work done by the leadoff hitter. Remember, he made the guy on the mound burn through a ton of pitches before he actually reached base. But instead of capitalizing on that, the next guy turns right around and bounces into a double play. Robinson Cano stands in. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Swung on and missed for the first strike. That's such a good pitch to get ahead. Lefty on lefty. It's a big looping curveball. Makes it very difficult for the hitter to try and time what's coming next. Shot toward right center. And that'll get down for a two-out single. Now you just think back to that double play ball. If not for that, this might very well have been a run. Tom Noonan is into the box for his second at-bat. He popped out into foul territory his first time up. And he popped up a high fastball last time, so maybe they feel like they can beat him upstairs. We might see that same pitch again in this at-bat. One run on three hits. And no errors so far for the Royals. Fastball in there for a strike. 92 on the radar gun that time. Chopped weakly to the left. Flips it behind his back. He'll go to Everett for the force, and the side is retired. One for the highlight reel as they get the force play to get him out of trouble. Back with more from game three. Nick Castellanos will stand in to lead things off here, and his guys have been unable to get anything going to this point. Yeah, and you think so many times in the postseason, we see starting pitching really come to the forefront, and this guy's been every bit as good as advertised so far. Here comes the first pitch. 8, 9, and 1 to start the inning as the first pitch misses for ball one. And here's a slider that runs inside that time, and that'll keep him from diving out over the plate. I'll tell you, he's already hit one guy. He is not afraid to work inside. No, and as much as I hate to say it, pitchers have just as much right to the inside part of the plate as you do. Line toward the gap in left center. But this will be pulled in out there in left center. Well hit, but a rough out number one. Well, in this at bat, he did everything right. He got himself into a good hitter's count. That's 2-0. and oh. Found a good pitch to hit, and he hit it hard. Just unlucky, I guess. He hit it right at somebody. Gene Segura standing in. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. <laughs> That's fucking funny shit right there, dude. Hard hit ball to second. Cano <laughs> fields it cleanly. <laughs> on to first, and there are two down. Uh, that makes me giggle. Now batting, second baseman. Everett Cabrera. I'm not saying that shit. <laughs> Everett Cabrera well, you will dig in now. It. A single and a fly out for him in two trips thus far. And you know, I think he's had a good approach in each of his first two at bats. He seems to be seeing the ball well and putting some decent swings on it. Sinker to open the AB in there for strike one. Well on his way to another good inning right here, and you see the pitch count. It's not even close to being a factor just yet. Sinker, and this one's Come over on, as well. Nothing in two straight. now. Yeah, one pitch away now from getting through five shutout innings. Straight. And I'll tell you what, the way he's throwing, this could turn out to be a night off for the bullpen. No runs, four hits, and no errors in the game for Cincinnati thus far. Now a foul tip held onto behind the plate. It's strike three, and that ends the inning. 
Reds are down in order. It remains 1-0. Andre Ethier comes to the plate as we get started here in the bottom of the fifth. Center fielder, Andre Ethier. Out in front of it, strike one. <laughs> that voice is amazing. Fastball and he's quickly in the hole. So again, two. It's so a little bouncer that rolls foul. So a good job to fight it off and stay alive. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. And this will land foul. Now the 0-2 pitch. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Dickerson is there to put it away for route number one. Now batting, catcher, Robinson, Charino. Stepping into the box, Robinson Chirinos. He flew out in his last at bat. <laughs> Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. Hit well on the ground to first. Great stop by Encarnacion. Just no way. Oh, man, that would have been awesome. Nearly a highlight real play, but they'll have a runner on here with one away. Show me the fucking... Dominic Brown stands in. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out. And Matt, with the double play in order, they'll obviously be looking to induce another ground ball out of him right here. And he won't even think about second as he'll flip on to first for the shoe out. Yeah, and the only silver lining to this offensively is that you get that guy up to second base, and now he's in scoring position with two outs. But I would doubt seriously that that was his intention. Ian Desmond will stand in again. A couple of ground outs for him on the ledger in his two trips so far. And a high strike there, 0-1. Boy, we're well into this ball game now, and he's thrown 70% first pitch strikes to all the hitters he's faced. And when you can get ahead, your results are going to turn out well. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. No taking now. He's going to have to swing the bat. Hits are now even at four apiece. Can't quite get around in time to keep it fair. I must and it say, remains though, you all two. have such angelic voices. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Angelic man, you know, like an angel. One left for <laughs> Kansas City. They lead it one to nothing. To record. We should record an album. Smooky Betts will stand in now. He flew out in his first time around and then was a strikeout victim last time. The Royals get some action in the bullpen going now as the left-hander starts to throw. And he'll take strike one on the fastball, registering at 93 that time. And if he's had any postseason jitters, he hasn't shown them to me. Now, he's been outstanding so far. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Oh, you know I got it. Who's that Buster Rhymes, right? Eh? 
And that's a swinging Fuck, strike that's three good. in the dirt. And the throw is there to record the first out. Now batting. Matt Slider's been an effective pitch for him, no doubt, as you take a look there at what his pitch breakdown looks like so far. Edwin Encarnacion will come forward now. He has flied out and singled so far. Oh. Behind on that one, now behind in the count, 0-1-1. One out, nobody on. Oh, and a half uh. swing there on a pitch out of the zone, indeed. It's strike two. Well, Man. this is an important time for him to bear down. He's thrown the ball very well, but he doesn't want to let the meat of this order ruin what he's done so far. And a fastball there is inside as that one backed him up a bit. And you know what? That's not a big breaking ball coming up high and tight. That's going to get your attention a little. Fly ball heading for the alley. Ranging back is Ethier, but he's not going to get this one. It's into the gap. And he'll cruise into the bag at second with a one-out double. Well, neither offense has really made a huge impact so far, but finally maybe a little sign of life. He drives this ball for two bases, and even though they've had trouble scoring runs, they're not out of this thing by a long shot. A couple more of these could get him right back into it. Corey Dickerson will step in now as his guys look for a breakthrough here with a runner in scoring position. Yeah, and it's been a long time coming. They haven't done anything with their opportunities so far. Maybe this will be the time that they finally crack the scoreboard. Hit to first. Noonan gloves it. And he'll take this one to the bag for the out. But meanwhile, the runner will move up 90 feet to third base. Boy, his guys got him the lead back in the very first inning. And he hasn't looked back since. He's had everything go his way so far. And... This inning's turning out to be no exception. So striding in, Derek Norris, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Trying to hold the lead. Mm, a little tardy there. No balls and a strike. Well, we've seen a lot of guys be late on that fastball tonight, and I think that all comes from being a little over-aggressive. Now a ball hit down the line yes. in the air. This has Get a out. chance. And yes. you know, it's high off the foul pole for a home run. So a two-run homer down the line Beautiful and left. Baby. His third Beautiful. home run of this series. And the Reds now take a two-to-one lead. Well, that's going to put him on the board for the very first time here, but how close was this to being a foul ball? Obviously very close because it hit the darn foul pole, but hey, they were about due for something to go their way, and they get a big break here. Now batting. Here's Albert now. Albert Pujols. High in the air, carrying well out to deep back to center. Back. Looking up is Ethier, and this one is gone. A home run. A solo shot for Albert Pujols. His first homer so far in the series. And it gives the Reds a 3-1 to one lead. Well, this place just hasn't stopped buzzing from the last home run. Now, all of a sudden, one pitch later, you're watching another guy take a trot around the bases. Well, that just shows you, you can't take any pitches off in this game. Up next for Cincinnati. Here's Charlie Blackman now. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Yeah, and it seems like he kind of got away from that pitch here in the last few innings. You got to think about bringing that one right back. Now a swing and a fly ball. 
And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul, so a missed opportunity there. Pulled toward right center field. Calling for it, Brown, and that ends the inning. So two home runs in the inning lead to three runs on the scoreboard. Two, three, and four do up in the home half of the sixth. It's the Reds three and the Royals one. Todd Frazier will step in now to lead off the inning as his guys look to maybe break the rut they've been stuck in. Yeah, and after that first inning, it's been all zero since. And once he kind of got settled into that groove, he's been a difficult nut to crack. Looks like the Reds are going to have some stirring in the bullpen as a lefty's begun to heat up down there. Belted high in the air out to left. Blackman going back. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. A solo shot here to left. His second of the game. And the Royals have cut it to one. It's now a 3-2 to two score. Well, it seems to me like we've seen this before. His second home run of the ball game. And it would seem to me that he hit that one harder than he did the last one. So he's definitely locked in. Baseman, Standing in now, Michael Mike Franco. Franco. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce one foul for the first strike. Bases are empty here, nobody out. Hit hard up the middle. Segura to his left. He's there. Throw on to first. So a good comeback there as he gets the first out of the inning. Well, he's allowed just two runs to this point. Both of them coming on solo homers. Things could be much different now if those had come with guys on base. But as it is, this has been a pretty good outing. On his way to pitch number 75. Tammy Vaccaro is in for the third time now as he <laughs> takes a called strike. It's 0-1. Not too many strikeouts on the ledger for him so far, but it hasn't really mattered. Yeah, I think ideally you'd like to see him miss a few more bats, but as long as you're keeping guys strike. off balance and you're letting your defense help you, you don't need to strike a ton of guys out to be successful. Fastball called strike one and two very patient here to start the at bat maybe even a little too patient because now he's down one and two yeah, and I don't think he's going to get anything better than that to hit here he comes on a ball and two strikes drilled on the ground is short he gets dirty but he can't make the play it's a base hit. It wasn't just that he was getting fastballs there. He was getting hittable fastballs. This catches a ton of the plate. And he turns it around for a solid single. Here comes the second baseman, Robinson Cano. Breaking ball. That's in the dirt as he takes a ball. Got to be careful here with a run in already. You don't want to let one get away from you and lose the possibility of a double play. He's running towards second. Lying to the right side. That's in for a base hit, and he's two for three. And he is in there. So a crucial moment here in standing in. Tom Noonan, as he'll do his best to bring home the go-ahead run from third, 90 feet away. Some guys are just flat-out clutch. They come through in these situations time and time again. We'll see if he's got that in him here. And now the Reds are going to get the bullpen moving here, and it's a lefty and a right-hander up and throwing. And there's ball four now, so the bases are loaded here on the intentional walk, and the force at the plate is in order. Plus center fielder number 16, Andre Ethier. 
standing in with the bases loaded, Andre Ethier, as he'll go to work on trying to bring home the tying run from third. These are the at-bats where there's pressure on both sides, and you better believe that that man out on the mound is feeling it too. First pitch misses high here, perhaps trying to get him to pop something up. It's 1-0. At the plate, the worst-case scenario, you've got to be thinking sack fly. A grand slam sure would be nice, but you've got to make sure you at least get that tying run home. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. You get the sense he's starting to nibble a bit at the corners here, and that's something he wasn't doing earlier. Yeah, and he sort of backed off the throttle a little bit, too. I'm wondering if that home run ball might have changed his approach just a little bit. Quintana sets. Here's the 2-1. Gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Just out in front of that one, still 2-2. Two and two. Hits are even at 7 apiece. Swinging bunt out in front of the plate. And he'll be tagged out as he got caught between third and home. Well, you know, every base runner is precious out there, but they're even more so when you get them all the way to third base. So when you get careless and get tagged out there in no man's land, well, that's going to drive your manager crazy. Here comes Brian Price now out of the Reds' dugout on his way to the mound. And he's going to make a change as that'll do it for Jose Quintana. So as he departs, he'll leave this mess with the bullpen as three runners are his responsibility. Fernando Abad will get the call here in a big spot as he inherits a bases loaded jam with two men out. Robinson Chirinos. Steps into the box here in one of the bigger spots in the ballgame so far. Base is juiced now with two away. Yeah, and this is one of those make-or-break moments in a ballgame, Matt. You don't want to let an opportunity like this in the middle innings get away from you. Bases are loaded here, two down. Waved at and missed, and he's behind 0-2. Uh, he's still got to make one more big pitch, but this is a great start with the bases loaded. Struck him out. Nice. You talk about pulling a rabbit out of your hat. He gets out of the jam, and the side is retired. Royals get one back on this solo home run. 8-9 and top of the order coming up to start the seventh. It's now a 3-2 ball game. Back here at Kauffman Stadium here in Kansas City. On to the seventh now in game three, but before it gets underway, we take a look at our game summary through the first six. Zach Duke is on to pitch now as he'll take over to start inning number seven. Nick Castellanos. We'll take another shot here. He's flied out and lined out in two trips. Well, 0 for 2, but he's taken some decent hacks. Could see a better result in this at-bat. And a high strike to begin the at-bat. It's 0 and 1. So often, playoff baseball comes down to the bullpen. And this is going to be a bullpen game from here on out. And here's a curveball in the dirt that time for a ball. One and one.
Heading out towards shallow right. Brown is after it. Now a reach, and he takes a tumble here, but hangs on for the first out. And let's check this one out again. Look at him stretch out for this thing, and then he's going to tuck into a nice little barrel roll at the end there. That was pretty sweet. Gene Segura standing in. As he'll watch one miss down and in for a ball, 1-0. Very tight ball game. Three to two our score in inning number seven. Well hit. Deep down the right field line. But this will land foul shy of the wall. Lifted in the air out to right. Brown is under it. He hauls it in without any trouble. And there are two away. Good start to the inning here out of the bullpen. After three runs came in to score last inning, they needed someone to come in here and slow that offense down a bit. Everett Cabrera gets another crack right here. He's got a hit in three tries to this point. Hold off on the slider to start the at bat. It's ball one. Liner toward right center. And that's in there. So perhaps some life here with two men out. And you know as a hitter, okay. you're seeing the ball so well when center you can take a pitch like that and square it up and just hammer it right back up the middle. Striding into the box, Mookie Betts. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and hopefully he got that out of his system. They really need him to come through right here. First delivery to him on the way. And a fastball's in there for strike one. Maybe a spot to pitch out on 0-1? Well, I think he wants to go, no doubt. Might not be too bad an idea. Two out with the man at first. Now we'll step off the rubber and go to first. Don't want to forget about him. Just checking. Here's the 0-1 pitch. In there, and he's ahead 0-2 now. He just might be up there taking pitches, waiting for that base runner to go, but he's not going to be able to take anymore. The 0-2 delivery. And there he goes towards second. Reached for and popped into the air, back behind second. And Desmond will make the catch, and that ends the inning. One left for Cincinnati, and it remains a 3-2 ball game. Dominic Brown will stride forward now. He's bounced out a couple of times already here in the ball game. Just a little off on his earlier swings, guys. Got to keep that top hand calm up through contact to keep from rolling over. And reined in one away. Nicely done there at short as you see him ranging to his left. He takes it on his forehand side and then flips it to first for the out. Here's the shortstop, Ian Desmond. And he'll take a tough pitch on the outside part of the plate for strike one. Well, this pitching staff has done a pretty darn good job against him in this series. And this one's tapped foul at home plate. Bases are empty, one man out. And he'll take the fastball here inside off the plate. It's one and two. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. 
And when he's down 0-2, He's smart enough to know guys are going to try and get him to chase. So now at 2-2, two and two, he's got himself back to a spot Come where on. he doesn't have to go after a pitcher's pitch. The fucking strike, man. Crowd gets up for the 3-2. And he lays off ball four. So now the potential time run here is aboard late in the game. That is just a great at bat right there. Anytime you go from down 0-2 in the count to working out a walk, well, let me tell you, that ain't easy to do. And that's all about having a really good feel for the strike zone. Todd Frazier stands in again here with two home runs already to his name in this one. And you know what, Matt? He's just made it look so easy out there. For the I think they've got to change their approach right here. Use some caution or something. Fernando Rodney will come on much too early here if you ask me. It's just the seventh inning. Todd Frazier will be the first to greet him here as he'll stand in with a runner at first and one away. Well, you know he's feeling good at the plate, so he's already got two hits in this game looking for another one. And a fastball misses here to start the at-bat. It's 1-0. That's a dangerous but well-placed pitch there. Most power hitters are tempted by pitches up in the zone, but that one was so far enough up that he wouldn't have been able to do much with it. Fastball at 94 miles an hour, and it's one and one. Yeah, there's a good one right there, right over the top. You just fire that thing in there. And this is low, ball two, two and one. Rodney's ready. Here it is on two and one. To two and two now. That thing's coming in there hot. 96 miles an hour. And a full oh, count as that misses. It's three and two now. Now the question, do you send the guy on three and two with one out? You figure you're going to get something around the plate. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. He's ready. Now the payoff pick. And Come he on. missed with it. Ball four. So that means now the potential tying run will move into scoring position at second. Third baseman, number seven. So stepping in, Michael Franco, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Started to go around there, but he holds up ball one. And here's one of those times where the Royals have to start finding key hits. And maybe a little frustrated on the mound here as the fastball misses for ball two now. He's in a situation now where he does not want this game to get away from him. Two guys on already. Now he's not in the strike zone to this hitter. He's got to reel it back in. If you're flirting with a little bit of danger now with another ball. Ready with the 2-0. And he'll lay the fastball in here to get the count back to 2-1. Yeah, you know, he probably got the fastball he was looking for. But on 2-0, you can look for one pitch in one spot. And if it's not in that spot, you take it. He's set and the 2-1 pitch. Chops it foul at home plate as the count moves to two and two now. Has to be thinking strikeout here. Doesn't offer at the circle change there and it goes full three and two. And now on three two, do you put any thought into sending the runners here with one away? And he misses ball four. So now that potential right. time run scoots up 90 feet to third base. Well, we knew he had to work carefully with the runner in scoring position. But I don't think a walk was what he had in mind. That's going to make things just a little trickier now with the bases loaded.
Now time is called and this could very well be to buy a few more pitches for those relievers. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Sammy Vaccaro comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. And I think he's going to have to summon up every bit of his experience to get out of this one. Uh, he's certainly been through it before. If anybody can do it, he can. And he falls behind 0-2. This is in the air out to right. The catch is made. Here comes the tying run from third. But not in time. And just like that, this ball game is tied. When he steps to the plate, he knows exactly what he's got to do. And this one's deep enough to get the job done, and Come that on. ties up the ball game. Robinson Cano gets a shot now with two men on and two away here in inning number seven. And we'll see here if he can come through. It can be yeah. discouraging to see opportunities like this late in a ball game go untapped. Uh, a little off like and it's in for a called strike one. Getting that first pitch strike is so important against a guy like this. Okay, you have to be able to work ahead in the count and not let him dictate yeah, the at bat. Fastball. Whoa, look out. That just about got him in the coconut. Can't imagine guys like no, that too much. Up, so. Yeah, not too much indeed. You start getting into the danger area when it's up and in that eye. And he comes back with a fastball. One and two now. Minimizing the damage at just a run, the inning is over. Royals settle for just the one. Eighth inning coming up, and we are all tied at three apiece. Edwin Encarnacion will stand in, and it's a bullpen game now. Both starters out as we begin inning number eight. Yeah, both starters are out, and since we're tied, both starters not going to be involved in the decision. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Drops in a strike to start the at bat. Nothing in one. The man you see here out for a second inning of work, and he becomes the pitcher of record now in a tie ball game. Yeah, he pitched well last time around. No reason to think that he can't do it again. Oh, turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Oni pops it up, drifting just beyond the infield. Noonan backs up a bit and he takes charge for the first out. Now batting. Right Time now to give you a look at our starter comparison in this 3-3 ball game. Both pitchers turning in fairly good performances, as you can see on the graphic. Settling in now, Corey Dickerson. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Hit hard back up the middle. And that's in for his second hit of the afternoon. The catcher. Good work that time at the plate. You'll see he hangs in there on that slider. And that's not easy to do on a tough left-handed pitcher. He manages to square it up and he gets himself a solid single. Derek Norris will stand in again as we flash you back to the middle innings here. This was a big blow, a two-run home run that really got his guys going.
first pitch of the at bat. And here's a fastball from Duke to get things started. It's nothing and one. Oh, and one count and the pitch. Fly ball out to straightaway right field. Brown is there. Two gone. This is a guy that doesn't really have great velocity, so when he elevates the fastball, it can lead to big problems. He gets away with it this time, though. First pitch coming. Here it is. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. Uh, this is foul for the first strike. Two out with the possible go-ahead run at first. Lifted in the air to center field. Ethier's there. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Reds leave one. No change in the score. It's 3-3. Three to three. Tom Noonan digs in to lead off the bottom of the eighth inning. Rodney comes set. Here's the first pitch. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. Fastball, and that thing got up there at 95 miles an hour, a ball and a strike. Yeah, that first fastball took off on him a little bit. This is a much better spot. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's two and one. Swing and a miss at a ball tailing out of the zone. Two and two. Well, I just don't think he was expecting that one. And it was the perfect time to just take a little off. He's set. Here's the two two. Still two and two. Set to deal on two and two. And he takes strike three cold on the fastball. One gone. And this bullpen's picking right up where their starter the left off. This has been a real team Andre effort on the mound. So Andre Ethier stands into the box. He could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. Here's the circle change and a dandy that time as he jumps ahead with strike one. That first pitch change can be a tough one. A guy doesn't have any point of reference to work from, and he just can't help himself up there. Oh, Here's one that misses high. It's one and one. One out, nobody on. A little behind on that swing, and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Chop foul at the plate and we'll do it again. Ready with the one and two. And Ethier will hang around a little longer as that misses to make it two and two now. Full count. Three and two. Robinson Chirinos waits on deck. He's set. Here's the three and two. Grounded to first. And Carnacion takes this over himself to record the put out. Now batting, catcher Robinson Charino. Tucker Barnhart will get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. Barnhart. Jerry Blevins will come on here looking to get the final out in the home half of inning number eight. Now batting, catch 
Tucker. And this is taken outside for ball one. If there's one guy on this roster that wants the ball in a moment like this, this is the guy. Ball two. Yeah, a little unlucky here to be behind 2-0. Those first couple of pitches haven't missed by a whole lot. Grounded up the first baseline. And a reach, but it's by him as he couldn't quite get to that ball. And you check this out. This is on the inside part of the plate, but he still is able to take it to the opposite field. I'll tell you, that is back control at its finest right there. Chop foul at the plate, strike one. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. Tried to get him to chase the cutter there, a ball and two strikes. Filthy change up that time, but he's able to make contact and he'll get another chance. One and two, here it comes. And another foul ball. It swung on and hit in the air. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. Royals leave one. Score remains tied at 3-3. Three to three. Back now from Kansas City, Missouri, as we get set to begin the top of the ninth inning in this one. Tucker Barnhart. We'll stay in the ball game as you'll likely do the catching from here out. Tucker Barnhart. Hector Neris will enter now to start the ninth inning as his job will be keeping the game tied until the bottom half. Charlie Blackman gets another crack right here. He's got a hit in three tries to this point. Ninth ball. inning begins as the first pitch is taken for ball one. Now a fastball for a called strike. It's one and one. Hit hard on the ground to second. There's Cano. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Now batting, third baseman, Nick Castellanos. Nick Castellanos will stand in. He flew out his last time up. Here's the first pitch to him. That's righty against righty as this is taken for a ball. It's 1-0. Oh. Fly ball out toward right field. Moving under it, Brown. And he makes the catch for the second out. If you're going to go the other way with a pitch, you've got to be committed to it. You can't just have a lazy swing and pop the ball out to right field. That's not going to do you any good. Gene Segura standing in. Grounded back up the middle. A dive, but he can't knock it down. It's through for a base hit. He tries to run this splitter in there about thigh high, but he does a good job of generating that bat through the zone quickly, and 
The result, a solid single. Into the box, Everett Cabrera. Pitch swung on and missed the throw. Not in time as he steals second. Boy, I think he's pretty lucky to get in there safely on this play. It's a decent jump, but I think a good throw might nail him down there. Instead, you see it's wide of the mark, off to the shortstop side of the base, and he's able to beat that tag to get in safely. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Line drive, base hit left field. Here's Segura around third, heading for the plate. And the runner nice. from second is in to score. Big it's hit. a four to three game. Well, that's a big base hit for him right there. That drives in the go ahead run. He's fired up down there at first, and I'm sure his dugout is even more fired up. Joe Thatcher will take over with two gone here in the top of inning number nine. Joe Thatcher. Here's Mookie Betts. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. And you figure now this would be a spot where that man might try to take second base. And it wouldn't be a bad idea to hold the ball a little longer out there on the mound. Really bury your times to the plate. You can't be predictable out there or he'll take advantage. And they pitch out here, but nothing's happening. Ball two. Step off the rubber and go to first. And he's back easily. Just keeping an eye on him. Here comes the 2-0 pitch. Runners on the move for second. Line drive to left. And that'll get down for a base hit. Sometimes just the threat of a steal is good enough. He's worried so much about that runner on first that he falls behind in the count. And then he's got to come in with something, and it results in a line drive single. Edwin Encarnacion now. And a slider gets away from him here as it just about got him in the ankle. That's a pitch you have to lay off right there. That tight slider busting down and out of the zone, all that can do is tie you up. Downstairs, two balls and no strikes. Anxious moments all over the ballpark now. These folks can hardly bear to watch. Two men are on with two men out. Two and one after the foul ball there. High in the air and deep to left center field. Ethier racing back. Gone! Game over. Beautiful. So a three-run shot to left center, his third home run of this series, as yeah, it is now seven now. to three. And that is gonna hurt. They've been waiting for that one hit with runners on base, and that could very well be the one that winds up sealing the deal. That's gonna make this a four-run ball game. Now. Stepping in now, Corey Dickerson, as he overcommits here to a slider out of the zone, one strike to count. Seems like they're showing a lot of faith in this guy, leaving him out there. And I think you appreciate that as a pitcher, but sometimes when you don't have it, you don't have it. Looks like this is going to be one of those times. 
the 0 1 pitch. The short hit hard. Desmond has it in the dirt, and oh, he can't quite dig it out. Well, let's take a look at that play at first here in show motion. He's close to making a great save here. You can see him try to backhand it, but it doesn't quite want to stay in the glove. It may have hit him more in the palm, and he can't prevent the throwing error. The catcher, Derek Norris, is in. Hit pretty well as this is out toward deep center. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. Around third and being waved on home. And to score is the runner from first. It's an 8-3 to three ball game. Well, that's a nice job here of cashing in with two outs. You could see they were shaded to pull, but he slices his ball the other way. Forces the outfielder to have to cover some ground fielding this thing. And as a result, that runner is going to come all the way around to score from first. Here's Albert now. As he takes a cold strike on the black, it's 0-1. I think that man right there is reaching the end of his wits. Oh, his team is absolutely imploding right now, and it basically came out of nowhere. Sent in the air out to straightaway central. Eth here is under it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning but not before five crossed the plate with the big blow being this three-run home run. Last chance coming up for the Royals. It's the Reds eight and the Royals three. Ian Desmond will stand in to lead things off here in the ninth with his guys in danger of falling into a very difficult to escape 3-0 deficit. Hit hard but foul. and one here it comes that's taken now it's 0 and two you like the way this guy is just going about his business here he's got a big lead but he's pitching like it's a tie game here in the ninth. now a cutter but that's in the dirt for a ball And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. And again, they try to take him down in the strike zone just to see if he'll go after that pitch below the knees. But with two strikes, he's been able to lay off that thing now twice in a row. Here's the pitch on two and two. Swung on in the dirt, strike three. The throw to first is in time, one down. That's a real good sinker there. You can see this ball's in the dirt by the time he's committed to this swing. That's a nice job behind the plate of cleaning up and getting that put out at first. Todd Frazier will stride in again, and before he takes his cuts here, we take you back to inning number six. This was his second home run of the ball game as he'll stand in here looking for number three. <coughs> He's set. Here it comes. First pitch here misses wide. 1-0. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. And they're able to get the ball in quickly, so he'll be held to a single with one away. Yeah, he's swinging a pretty hot bat. Here. Three for four now after the base hit. That wasn't a little bleeder. That ball was smoke.
Into the box now, Michael Franco. As he'll take strike one on the inside corner. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. On its way, the 0-2 pitch. And here's a ball hit in the air. And Carnacion in foul ground. Oh. And nope, this one falls, so he'll get another shot. Takes this the other way to right. In there, a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Sammy Vaccaro will stand in now. And hey, give these guys credit. They're not going down without a fight. I'll tell you what, they're not too far away from making a game out of this one after all. Jason Grilly will come on here hoping to get the final two outs and put this one into the win column. Fucking 12 ERA, shoot. <clears throat> Sammy Vaccaro will be his first assignment here as he'll now face him with in. runners at first and second and one gone. Sammy Vaccaro. And he'll hold off on the slider here to start the at-bat. It's ball one. Well, you know, if there's anybody in this lineup capable of getting a rally started, this is the guy right here. Yeah. And, ooh, looked like a definite pitcher's pitch there on the inside one and one. Now the pitch on the ground up the middle. There's Segura. One there, but he'll put this in his pocket and be content with just the one out. Boy, and this would have been a really costly double play, but fortunately he's hustling all the way down the line, and he's able to beat that throw on the back end. Robinson Cano makes his way to the plate, needing to make something happen. They're down to their final out in the ninth inning. It's not looking too good for him anymore, but you know what? Okay. There's no clock in this sport, and that's for good reason. You've got to fight for all 27 outs. Runners on first and third, two away. And this is in the air to right, and this should do it. And he'll make the catch there to end it. And the Reds are one step away from a sweep. They take a commanding three games to none lead here on the road as this one is over. Well, maybe a little problem is that they wind up having to burn through the bullpen a little bit. Five pitchers are going to combine to finish off this victory. And fellas, when you're on the big stage here at the World Series, you want to make sure you bring the A game. And this man right here certainly did. He's our top player of the game. And Maddie, I think you're absolutely right. Sometimes guys.